Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your, well, this is for the 18th, your full moon, your Scorpio full moon reading. This is for somebody, it will not resonate with all, with all, with all. <laughs> we'll see what comes up. We're going to get one of these first. Magician in the mirror. Time is now. Something that you have manifested, something that you have asked for, something that you have been perhaps even praying for. This is as above, so below. This is something being granted. That's the way I feel. The time is now. It's like your wish is being granted. You have asked for it. You have manifested it. And the time is now. Service. I feel good when I can help others. How that resonates, I do not know. But it's here for a reason. Somebody may need your help. You may need to give that help without any expectation of reward. Somebody may be feeling the need to be of service to another person for some reason or another. <laughs> Destiny. <clears throat> Wheel of Fortune. This is the Wheel of Change. That's a very appropriate for this full moon because this full moon is about change destined fated change fated change of course something is about to change one chapter is coming to an end and a new chapter is beginning whatever is happening is bringing you closer to your life's purpose I really do feel like something really good is coming but 10 is a completion so something is also coming to an end you know you think about change change is change it's really change in order for change to happen something has to end something is coming to an end And something better is coming. This is something you've asked for. You may have even asked for it subconsciously. Or you may have asked for it, you know, and you're expecting it, this change to come in in a certain way. No, I don't think that's it. This is universal change. This is destiny. It's fated change. It's something that is meant to be. It's out of your control. Even though you asked for it and you manifested it, they bring you what you need for change. This is, I mean, as above, so below. This is like heaven coming down to earth, right? It's like your wish is my command. That's, that's what I just heard. Your thoughts truly do become things. Good thoughts and bad thoughts. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Taking a stand. I feel, I feel like this guy has a new vision. Somebody has this new vision and they're about to take a new approach.
Six of Pentacles reversed. This is a one-sided situation, lack of reciprocation. There hasn't been equal give and take in a situation. Not receiving. There could be financial burdens. Knight of Cups reversed. Page of Cups. Ten of Wands reverse. Somebody is breaking free from something that has been burdening them. They've reached the point of collapse and now it's a time of personal freedom, which makes sense. I think somebody has been in some sort of relationship that was one-sided, where there wasn't equal give and take. And perhaps their heart is telling them that it's time to break free. They deserve love. I need to honor my heart. I need to follow my heart. I got to break free from this troublesome situation that has weighed me down for so long. Somebody is breaking free. It's a time of personal freedom. This guy is taking back control taking the lead you think about the king of wands i mean he is he's got the emperor in him he's also got you know temperance in him and he's got uh strength in him you know so it's like he knows that the time is now to bring balance and harmony back to his life the only way to do that is to break free from something that has been weighing him down him or her it's a time of personal freedom right now Somebody's probably been, this Knight of Cups, this is probably a, a relationship that really isn't love. Faith, this is the Hierophant. This is moving forward with faith, believing in the path, deepening their practice, listening to their inner guide. We have somebody that has received a message. It's time to move forward with faith. It's time to commit myself to my path, to my visions. Knight of Coins reversed. Somebody has been at a stalemate. They've delayed moving forward. There's definitely been some financial problems. Somebody could have been dealing with a person who didn't contribute financially and it's caused financial woes. Eight of Wands. This is no more communication, blocking communication, stopping, putting something to a halt. And this is putting something to a halt. Somebody may be putting a relationship to a complete halt. Stopping communication, blocking communication. It's like their inner guide is telling them, I got to take back control of my life. It's time to get my life back on track. I need to break free from this overwhelming, stressful situation that has caused me so much stress. Queen of Wands reversed. We have somebody here that has lost their focus. They definitely have lost their concentration. They may be in a period of pity. Poor, poor, pitiful me. You could be dealing with this person who is, you know, needing some sort of condolences, needing, begging for sympathy, perhaps. Somebody has been reluctant to take a new approach. They've been reluctant to get to a better place. They've been staying in a place of lack. And I think it's because of their own low self-confidence, their own low, low self-esteem. And it's like now I think that they're realizing that they don't, you know, they need, to, they need to drop something. They need to drop something that is weighing them down to bring back bring their vibration back up and we have somebody that's vibrating on a low level because of 
the imbalance in their life. I mean, there's imbalance, there's lack of reciprocation, there's It's almost like there's a false romance or something like that. There's a lack of communication. It's like there's a communication issue here, which has also been causing stress. Somebody has been in a very troublesome situation, and now they're breaking free. They're breaking free, following their heart. I can't, it's like I can't stay in this pitiful state anymore. The only way for me to bring balance and harmony back to my life is to, you know, make a conscious change to break free from this troublesome situation. So I feel like we have somebody here that is deciding to take their own path. This is, I mean, the Hierophant card is somebody who, you know, has been divinely guided to move forward with faith, believe in themselves, and go their own way, follow their own path, even if nobody else agrees with it. I know who this this card is. Okay, I'm gonna go my own way. My inner guide says to go the own way my own way, whether, you know, everybody else accepts it or not. I believe. So I feel like we have somebody here that is deciding to go their own way after stalling, after staying in a troublesome situation, perhaps where there really wasn't a lot of emotional fulfillment there, you know, definitely a lack of communication issues, a lack of communication, there's just, or no communication, definitely communication issues, you know, which has caused somebody to feel less than worthy, feels, caused somebody to feel like, why me? Why is this happening to me? You know, that kind of mentality. And now it's like, I got to break free. I've, I've, I've held back long enough. I got to break free. It's time for me. It's time. The time is now. I love them when they flip. Yeah, crossing that bridge. Somebody is deciding to cross that bridge. Take the high road. Look at these sixes reversed. Six, six, six reverse. It's time to get my life back on track. Six, six, six. It's time to get your life back on track. It's funny because that's what I was saying this morning. Early in the morning. I had a nightmare last night. And it was, and it got me right out of bed. It was like, I can't even tell you what it was, but like 3.30 out of bed and about probably by, I'd say by 4.30, I was sitting thinking about everything. And get your life back on track. It's time to get your life back on track. Popped into my head multiple times. Six, six, six. It's time to get your life back on track. This is a spiritual wake-up call and it makes complete sense. It's time to bring balance and harmony back to your life. Sixes are about balance and harmony. All these sixes are reversed. Somebody has been dealing with a, a stressful situation where there's de that been communication issues, which has caused a lot of pity, you know, pitiful me. Why me? It's brought somebody's energy down. It's stolen their energy, caused them to lose faith in themselves honestly it's lowered their self-esteem and it's like now they've come to this realization I think with this full moon that I got to get my life back on track I can't deal with this anymore I gotta listen to my inner guide and take back control of my life so somebody is making a choice to go down a new path because there's no victory and success there's no reci real reciprocation here there's not equal give and take somebody's not really giving it's not an equal relationship it's not a balanced relationship the sixes are no balance and here's your relationship that's reversed we have a relationship that's not balanced out it's like one person's giving the other is not not equally 
or at all. There's no victory in success, which has brought in another person's confidence down. Somebody's been being dishonest with it. It's like they gave their power away. It's like they gave their power away to a relationship where, you know, they just, there wasn't really any love there. And this is self-love. I know that's what this is. Somebody is deciding to love themselves. I deserve love. I, I deserve love. I need to break free from this troublesome situation that is causing so much disharmony in my life. I can't do it anymore. Somebody is, somebody's been dealing with, like I said, an energy thief. Somebody, seriously, somebody that is untrustworthy, that doesn't have any <laughs> ability to follow through. And I feel like we have somebody here that is putting something to a complete halt. Like I said, I'm putting this to a halt. There's no equal commute. There's been, there's like no more communication. The communication is coming to a halt because I think the communication has been unequal for quite some time anyway. There's been lack of reciprocation. The communication is probably coming to a complete halt. Somebody is just like, you know what? I'm, I'm done. I break it. This Ten of Wands reversed is personal freedom. That is freeing yourself. I'm making a conscious change to bring balance back to my life. I've been divinely guided to do so. So I feel like we have somebody here that is dropping something. I mean, that's what this is. They are dropping something that has stolen their energy, their harmony, their peace, maybe even their self-confidence. I can't. No, not doing this anymore. I've been divinely guided to change my direction. So this is change. Somebody's direction is changing. I feel like somebody tried to help another person. That's why this card is here. Somebody tried to help another person and still couldn't get any. But then again, that, like I said at the beginning, without expectation of reward. But common courtesy goes a long way. Anyhow, I feel as though right now life is about to change because somebody is making a decision to drop something that has stressed them out for too long. So yeah, I mean that's what I see. I don't I don't I don't think I need any more cards. Somebody is putting a halt. It's like they're blocking communication. And it's because there has been a lock of a uh, lock a lack of communication there's been a lack of reciprocation anyway so that somebody is making the decision to take back control this is what this is somebody's taking i'm getting my life back on track i'm not going to involve myself in these shenanigans impasse Reflect and redirect your energy. And that is exactly what we got going on here. That's exactly what's going on here. Somebody is about to redirect their energy in a completely new direction because the, the direction that they, the path that they have been on is too, too unbalanced. There's no balance. There's no harmony. There's no peace. It's too troublesome. It's stressful. It's one-sided. It's not love. It's not what I want. Reflect and redirect your energy. Turning back isn't necessarily a failure. 
Sometimes it's the wisest thing you can do. If there's an area in your life where there's an impasse, the universe is telling you to use this as a time to reflect and redirect your energy in another way. Wisdom is knowing when to back down, turn around, and then let it go. There are times in life to break through barriers and there are times to change direction. There is an area in your life regarding relationships, business or finances or health that perhaps a new route is needed. And it could be more than one. If you reach an impasse in life, instead of protesting <coughs> that it's unfair or unwarranted, unwarrant change your course. I can't make this shit up. Do it quickly and easily. Instead of focusing on what's not working, which is that pity I was telling you about, focus on what can work and what steps are needed to create a different outcome. This is the sign of a sage. The wise one views an obstacle as if it's impassable. He immediately steps back and goes a different way. Therein dwells the sage's success. Whatever the obstacle in your life, and this is letting go of an obstacle, it's freaking amazing. Mm, I lost my place. The wise one views an obstacle as if it's impassable. He immediately steps back and goes a different way. Therein, therein dwells the sage's success. Whatever the obstacle in your life, you have learned what you needed to learn. Now back away and choose a different path. Right now, eights, right now, you are destined to go in a different direction. Listen to your inner guide. Believe in yourself. Trust that they have your back up above has your back they're bringing you something better believe it it's time to take back control of your life for those of you that are hanging on to a one-sided situation where there's no equal give and take there's no communication or there's very little communication it's time to drop it drop it Destiny, fate is trying to bring you something better. That's what this is. Consider this your opportunity to manifest something new. This pity, this poor, poor, pitiful me attitude that somebody has been in. Remember I said your thoughts truly do become things. That Those thoughts, those words, those crying, those tears, those... Those feelings, those, the universe hears that. Your wish is my command. But you can't choose. They choose. You can't put a name on it. They choose. Anyway, that's what I have. Good luck. One more thing. <laughs> I pushed stop and then and then I was just sitting here looking at these cards. They heard you wish for change. That's what happened. They heard you in your in your period of moping, of self loathing, wish for change. Here you go. But you gotta think about this wheel of fortune, it's a card of fate. It's a card of destiny, but it's also a card of free will. It's your turn. It's your time to take that step, to spin that wheel. They're giving you the power. The magician, the, that is the power. They're giving you the power right now as we speak with this full moon to make that change. And that, that includes completing a cycle. This is completing a cycle, ending a cycle. But you have to make the change. Take that step. They're giving you the power right now.
this is for the next seven years, by the way. Is this where you want to be for the next seven years? Or do you want to be in a better place? Or do you want to be stuck in this troublesome situation? Where there's stress and anxiety and no communication. Is that where you want to be? No reciprocation. Is that where you want to be? You have the opportunity to right now to change your direction. I'm done. Talk to you later.